Mr. Lamote. So blockchain is many thanks to many people, as we can see on the panel, and, uh, and I experience this everywhere that I go. For me, uh, blockchain is, is a transformational technology that uh, is the new internet, if you want. Yesterday, the internet was an internet of information exchange, the information superhighway. Today, it's uh, the internet of transactions. It's a, it's, it, it's a database that's robust, that's decentralized, that, that builds trust, um, that's very difficult to hack. And, and outside of that, blockchain represents the rail on which dreams are built. Um, it represents the rails that takes the average person in this room that has a good idea and some of the craziest ideas as well and to raise financing fairly quickly based on strong concept paper and some not very strong and you have the ability to raise millions for an idea and some of the most outrageous ideas out there. I, I was in a, in, a, in a conference last month and I met this guy who had an idea to build a smart constitutions. So on the smart constitution, you know, he had a, a smart contract that basically the constitution would apply based on smart contracts. So I thought it was, it was a crazy idea. But then, but then he told me that, you know, he did an ICO and he already raised $9 million for the idea. So in, in the conservative world, for him to raise $9 million for an idea like this would be very difficult at best. So it gives the average person the ability to change the world in a very short period of time. So not the blockchain itself, but it gives you the rails in order for, for those dreams to become reality. So, um, and this is why I think it's the, the ideal technology for a continent like Africa, because it allows leapfrogging to happen. It allows you to come from an idea and sometimes, you know, to bypass the traditional banking system to get, a fi to, to get financing for your platform through the, the mechanism of, of, a, of an ICU. So that's what blockchain is in my definition. Thank you.